Welcome to CodeChecker. CodeChecker is an app we created for our students to help them troubleshoot code in real time. In the last month alone, 50% of students who asked questions had issues because of typos in their code. In my 20 years of programming experience, I have seen the damage caused by typos. This is something everyone struggles with, including me. So go easy on yourself. But at the same time, be mindful. Most of the time, it is just something as simple as a typo. It's just not always that easy to find. Enter the code checker. Code checker is a very simple tool that generates a side-by-side -side comparison of your code to the official course code, highlighting any typos, missing files or clues as to why your code may not be working as expected. There are many benefits to using this tool aside from catching typos. It shows you what your code should look like, providing additional support for visual learners and cementing the teachings in this course. It provides an immediate answer to code related questions. We answer all questions within seven days, sometimes sooner, but the process is flawed as it requires students to wait for a response. This app troubleshoots issues without our help. No more waiting for the instructor to reply. It allows you to share specific lines of code directly with me, reducing any faffing around and getting you answers faster. I'll show you how it works. If you run into an unexpected output when you're following any of the steps in the course, then the first step is to commit the latest version of your code to Git. Also make sure that you push any changes to the remote repository. Once you've ensured the latest changes are pushed to Git, you can then head over to the video for the step where you ran into the issue. Then choose resources and click on the code checker check my code link. This will take you to the start page for the code checker tool. The first two boxes should be selected automatically based on the link that you clicked in the resources. However, it's a good idea to check that the correct course and the correct step is selected in the drop downs that are provided in the form. Once you've confirmed that, you can head over to your GitHub page and select code and you want to copy the HTTPS clone URL for your project. Once that's copied, you can head back to the code checker page and you can paste the URL in the box intended for the Git URL for your project. There's an optional box below where you can provide a custom branch if you pushed your change to a custom branch on your repository. If you just leave it blank, then it will use the default main branch for your project. Once you've completed the form, you can click on check code. The code checker will then go ahead and check your code, comparing it to the expected code for that specific step in the course. If there are any differences between your code and the expected code, they will be explained in the results page of the code checker. You can see here that we have an issue with files with incorrect contents. If you expand this, it will tell you which files have this issue. In our case, it is app slash recipe slash views. And if you click on show details, it will show you the specific comparison of that file in the code. You can see in the report that we've accidentally added an S to the permission classes class variable in our code. Now we can go ahead and correct this in our code by removing this S and then committing the code back to Git and pushing it to the remote repository. Once this is done, you can head back to the code checker page and you can click on recheck my code. The code will then be rechecked against the latest version that you just pushed. If all of the issues are fixed, you should see this page which says that your code is correct. The issue in your code should then be resolved, so you can go ahead and follow whatever step it was that was causing an issue, for example, running unit tests, and check that the problem is solved. If you have any problems understanding the results on the results page, then you can copy a link to the report page and share it with me in the course Q&A. This will help me to see exactly what you're seeing in the results page. You can also select a specific line in the code and this will deep link to that specific line when you share the URL with me in the Q&A. This helps us both get on the same page when we're debugging issues. 
That's an introduction to Code Checker. If you have any problems using this tool, please let us know in the official Q&A wherever our courses are hosted.